I finally arrived at my first vacation and it is New York City. This is the first day of vacation and I feel like a little kid filled with excitement to just go out and explore. So I'm in New York for 24 hours and I'm so excited to see it in the summertime. But first, let's get ready and then head out. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I woke up in Newark, New Jersey and this is the hotel room. Let me start by giving you guys a quick tour. Okay, so this is where we enter the room from and we have this him and her closet as soon as we enter. I didn't hang any of my stuff up because I was only here for a night and I'm checking out in a bit so I just had everything in my backpack. And then we have these drawers where you can put more stuff. A full length mirror where you can check your outfit. And this is the dressing mirror where I got ready. The LED lights on this are super bright and it's really nice to get ready. And then we have the bathroom in this corner. A nice little spacious bathroom where you can hang stuff there. And I like this because there's like so much separation from the shower because you have the shower all the way on this side in a separate corner so you have this like pretty decently sized shower and the best part about this was the overhead shower the pressure the water pressure from that was like phenomenal and then we have this slide through door that blocks off the rest of the room in case you want some more privacy and inside it opens up to this massive king bed <laughs> it was so comfortable i slept like a baby on this and then we have some bedside reading lamps another nook i think you can pull out that chair in the bottom for like extra storage space and then like leg space a working desk a tv mini fridge that i don't think has anything inside yeah it doesn't have anything inside and yeah that is about it the view is like pretty decent i mean it opens up to this like building so not much of a view and then there's like the parking garage at the bottom but overall this is probably one of the most nicest hotel rooms i've stayed in and i shall tell you all about how i ended up getting this hotel later on in the video so stick around to find out and then I did my yoga and meditation. I try to do this every day if possible and it feels amazing to do it in the early morning time, especially around sunrise. And I want to do this on my vacation as well because it helps me feel relaxed and happy throughout the day. And it's nice to have this practice and routine to follow every day. So I definitely recommend trying out a simple meditation, just sitting down for 10 to 12 minutes with your eyes closed will help you feel a certain type of ease throughout the day. Okay, so it looks like it's a bit cold today, honestly. It's like 17 degrees or something in New York City. So it is gonna be slightly cold, which is why I got this little head warmer. I bought this in Ladakh and I'm gonna keep it to cover my ears. And I have a rain jacket. I don't know how warm that's gonna be, but that's all I have with me. Um, and I'm gonna check out now, so. Time to say bye to this lovely little room that I had for a night and let's get going. I have a busy fun day planned and I'll tell you more about it as we check out.
got off the court authority, bus domino, and I'm making my way to Central Park. I'm halfway there. I think I have to take the C train up and then head to Central Park. I'm really excited. Today our mission is going to be to look for Kelly Wakasa and Ashley and hopefully we see them there. I've never seen Central Park in the summer, so I'm excited. I always come to New York in like the winter time when it's freezing cold. I'm always dying. On the way to the park, I saw a public CPR class happening and anyone who wanted to learn could join and I thought this was so unique. Good morning, horsies. 63 for 20 minutes. Finally made it into the park. There's so many people, it's so warm outside, it's nice. I'm gonna go find a spot to just sit down and then start my little picnic. This place was so cool, I didn't realize they had like restaurants and everything inside the park. I would have eaten there but I only have like a few hours so I don't want to spend too much time just sitting there, you know, and enjoy the park. So we move on from there. I'm trying to find like a good sunny aesthetic spot. I'm making my way up westwards and I'm trying to find a spot that way. I finally found the perfect spot called Sheep's Meadow. This place was 15 acres of green fields with the skyline in the backdrop. If you're ever in the city, visit Central Park. Trust me, it was so peaceful and so beautiful in the summer to walk around here. There was a lot of restoration done in the 80s to bring up the Sheep's Meadow to what it looks like right now. Central Park itself is 843 acres and it's bigger than the country of Monaco. It is home to gardens, lakes, trees, and even a Victorian castle. It is the most visited urban park in the country. I'm gonna find a tree for this one here so that I can have the option of having shade if I want to and also option of having the sun if I want to. Okay, let's set it up. vouchers for free yeah. but basically um, as you guys know if you saw my packing video I said I was going on a world trip and my first stop happens to be New York City but it was actually supposed to be Zurich Switzerland so on the layover for my first country I had Zurich as my layover and I had 24 hours of a layover in Zurich so I planned out everything like I planned out minute to minute where I would be because I would land in Zurich I was supposed to land in Zurich today at like 8.30 and then I had the entire day to like walk around explore and sightsee so I had everything planned out like but I was flying United and flight got delayed and delayed and more delayed and they ended up cancelling the flight so they gave me the hotel room in Newark and they gave me a hotel room and they gave me meal vouchers so I thought, why not make the most of it? My sister lives in Newark, so this is like such a good deal because like I got his, I got my accommodation for free. And then today I went and met my sister, and it's so funny because I only saw her like two weeks ago, and I'm seeing her again. But yeah, I hung out with her for like the first half of the day, and then I made my way to Central Park, and hopefully I get to see some YouTubers while I'm here. Literally, all of my favorite YouTubers, Kelly, Ashley. 
PhD Evelyn, Erica, all of them live here. And now Makara too has also moved here. Um, and so many other YouTubers that I watch. So you know, I'm on the lookout to see any of them. And meet them. the last time I was in New York, I met Kelly and Ashley. So I'm hoping to see them again. Well, I didn't meet Ashley. I met Kelly and um, Anne-Marie and Luke Ike. That was really cool. But yeah. I'm enjoying my picnic. I got these macarons, macarons at the Port Authority bus terminal, courtesy of the United Meal Vouchers. So, you know, I decided to indulge a little. They have pistachio flavor, blueberry cheesecake, and cookies and cream. They said these were their best sellers. So, I am gonna enjoy my little picnic watching the landscape. I think I've just eaten the best macarons I've ever tasted. This is so good. Okay, I was not expecting that. I bought it from a place called Whoops in the bus station. Just the cookies and cream one. Then this is the blueberry cheesecake. It tastes like fresh blueberry. it for today's vlog. Before I end, I want to say life doesn't always go like that, but unexpected surprises like this can happen. Instead of Switzerland, I got to see my sister, get free stay and food in New York, and explore it with a cute picnic in the park. We also learn a lot from life's unexpected turns, so keep enjoying life, lots of love, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!